What is up, YouTube? That's it here today. I'm back bringing you guys the next set of Pokemon, the top five best Pokemon for the bug type exclusive to the Series 13 VGC 2022 rule set that starts on September 1st. We've covered Steel, Dragon, Dark, a couple other types. Today, we're going to be working on my absolute favorite type, and that's going to be bug types. As you can see right here, I've gathered some of what I believe to be the best bug type Pokemon in the game. Please think about leaving a comment. Think about let me know if I've forgotten anyone. But I think these are some of the best bug type Pokemon in the game. And we're going to be organizing these Pokemon in a top five list where I talk about a little bit about each Pokemon's play style. So you guys can actually understand how to use these Pokemon in your games in case by the time Series 13 starts, you want to slot a bug type into your team for a specific reason. Now, I think bug types are actually going to be better than normal. I guess it's not even that bug types are going to be good. Max Flutter is going to be really, really good. Being able to lower special attacks is going to be premium in this format because there's going to be so many special attackers. Things like Yveltal, Calyrex, Kyogre. Um, you can see that we have the leftovers of the Dragon List. The reason why we have those guys on the left-hand side is because I just got done doing the Dragon List a couple days ago, and I just don't have room in my boxes to put them anywhere else. Those are all special attackers, right? There's going to be so many good special attackers in the format that Max Flutter Buy is going to be really, really really good. I even made a video recently where I used Genesect, and sticking one Max Flutter into a Kyogre to get that special attack drop neutered the Pokemon, made them waste all their max turns, and was the key to winning the game. So hopefully you guys can understand that bug types, yes, they have a, a lot of weaknesses, but they're a lot stronger than you might think. So let's start off with one of the strongest bug types in the fifth slot, and that's going to be, I think it's going to be Ferramosa. Let's put it down here, and let's count from left to right. I think Ferramosa is a better Pokemon than some people give it credit for. Um, it's personally my favorite Ultra Beast, right? It's It hits fast, it hits hard, it can be a physical or special attacker, it can go for speed swaps, it can go for coaching. Um, I really like the fact that Ferramosa gets a lot of ice moves, which means it can be a great check to ground types like Groudon and Landorus, uh, as well as things like Yveltal. I think Ferramosa is amazing. Like If I were to actually build a Pokemon the way I would like one to be made, I probably don't think I could do much better than Ferramosa for my actual playstyle. I've used Ferramosa in so, so many regionals. I've used Ferramosa in so, so many tournaments. It's one of my favorites. It gets one of the fastest speed stats in the game. It outspeeds even Calyrex Shadow by one point. And whenever you're making your EV spreads for teams, you should always put those extra couple points to not only outspeed Zacian, not only outspeed Calyrex Shadow, but outspeed Ferramosa if you're calculating for like airstreams or like tailwinds and stuff like that. It's really, really important. It's only one to two more points and it does make a huge difference because every once in a while, Ferramosa pops up and is absolutely amazing. These are really, really good moves on the physical set. It's access to triple axle this gen is a huge buff. It also does get though a full special set using like Focus Blast, Ice Beam, Bug Buzz, all those good stuff. So I think Ferramosa is going to be very, very good. It also gets really, really good support moves like Speed Swap. You're able to Speed Swap onto a slower teammate, give its Ferramosa's amazing speed tier, and allow those Pokemon to sweep in situations where they normally would not. Um, I think it also just gets a couple of just like really, really unique, awkward support moves. I think it gets Taunt. Um, I think it might get Faint. Um, it also gets Beast Boost, which is one of the best abilities in the game, being able to increase your highest stat. Obviously, we have it boosted in speed, but you can boost attack and use like a Sash Ferramosa in a different way. Uh, this set obviously right here is made for singles, but I do think Ferramosa is definitely worth respecting and it's always a pain to deal with for a lot of players in the team preview. And you'd be surprised just how well Ferramosa can hang with Ubers. I've talked a lot about um, how a lot of players are just re uh, replacing their Urshifus and their Rillabooms and other Pokemon with just things like Reshiram, Zekroms, other dragons and stuff like that. And uh, Ferramosa can hang with those guys. Like Ferramosa in Smogon is in the Uber tier in pretty much every format, and it's actually still viable. One Beast Boost means you're out of range of any speed increases, and you have enough damage if you use like a damage increasing item like a Choice Banner or a Life or maybe an Expert Belt to actually still pick up KOs. So I think Ferramosa is really, really good, but it's only fifth because there's so many good bug types in this format. Let's go to number four. The fourth best bug type I got written down right over here is going to be... Volcarona. I think Volcarona is going to be numero four here. This is an older Volcarona I have made for the singles format, but the, the move that Volcarona gets that sets it apart from a ton of other Pokemon here is going to be Rage Powder. Rage Powder is going to be so, so, so premium in this format. Pretty much every single team that's going to be competitive should have 
uh, a variety of like wide guard and rage powder users or or some sort of redirection maybe that being like an ally switch or something to make sure that you can like set up whatever you need to set up if you need to set up a tail wonder set up a trick room or set up speed controller set up max turns or like a geomancer or something Volcarona is a Pokemon that can allow you to do that, but also Volcarona is the check to the most popular Pokemon that people are using, which are NDD and Amoongus. There's so many teams that use both those Pokemon as their redirection mons. Volcarona has super effective stab moves against both of them. I think Volcarona is going to be so, so, so good. It also can outspeed a bunch of the base 90 speed restricteds like Zekrom, like Reshiram, like Groudon, like Kyogre. It can go for absolutely massive damaging attacks or can go for like struggle bugs and lower their special attack and stuff like that. Volcarona's gonna be a really really good mod in this format. It's also an amazing check to Zacian which is so so popular. Volcarona might even end up being like a number two or number one but I think it's safe to say uh it's in the fourth slot right now definitely deserving of top five and uh, I definitely think that I, I think Volcarona is really good. Maybe even it's better than the third Pokemon but the third Pokemon we're talking about, you know what time it is. You know who, you know who's talking about it. It's Butterfree, right? You may be thinking like Butterfree. One of the best things it gets is Rage Powder. Volcarona gets Rage Powder. Volcarona is obviously better typing, better stats. Everything's better about Volcarona. Butterfree gets that Compound Eyes boosted Sleep Powder. Being able to go for Compound Eyes to uh, make it so you always basically, basically, I think it's like a 97 or 98 point six percent chance that your Sleep Powder is basically having Spore and a relatively fast Rage Powder, really, really good. Also, Butterfree gets an exclusive G-Max uh, mode where you can go for the G-Max Befuddle, being able to put a little RNG into the game, uh, getting a potential double sleep, a double poison, a double para, a mix of the of the three uh, statuses and stuff like that. Butterfree's obviously my favorite Pokemon, has always been my favorite Pokemon, all the way back since Gem 1. I remember in the Viridian Forest, catching a Caterpie, leveling up, and absolutely taking Brock down with Butterfree and ever since then Butterfree was always my favorite like my Charmander struggled for Sprock but Butterfree was strong and Butterfree is still strong today uh, I think the fact that Butterfree does get a G-Max option as opposed to Volcarona is what might set Butterfree apart but most people will definitely just use the Volcarona instead of the Butterfree so if you're if you're a standard player use the Volcarona it's gonna be very very good for you but if you're a meme master like myself use a little bit of Butterfree. I guarantee you it's going to perform so well for you. You're able to sleep out of those Trick Room mons. You're able to go over so many cool things with Butterfree. Butterfree is one of those mons that makes the magic happen. And uh, yeah, I, it's it's just so good. So going into number two, we featured this Pokemon in the video relatively recently. What do you guys think it's going to be? We featured a lot of these mons actually recently. It's going to be Big Genesect. Now this is the Choice Scarf set that I featured relatively recently on a video. This is my Event Genesect from the Gen Five event, I think. But yeah, Genesect is okay. I think Genesect is even better than okay. Genesect has very, very good defensive typing, obviously only being really weak to the, the fire. Um, you're able to switch in on ice type attacks. You're able to switch in on, uh, you know, steel type attacks, fairy type attacks. So many attacks you can mitigate. You have good stabs. And like I talked about, being able to go for those big max flutterbys is going to be very, very good this season. Genesect outspeeds pretty much everything else in the format if you're using a Choice Scarf, or you can just use a, a Timidature. It's a 99 base speed, so it's going to outspeed basically, just like Volcarona, every other Pokemon that has a big special attack stat you want to get drops onto. So Genesect, very, very good Pokemon. The cool thing about Genesect is obviously the download. You're able to get that plus one into attack and special attack. People are going to build Genesect as a bit of a mix attacker with either a Choice Scarf or like a Life Orb, Choice Specs, something like that. And uh, you, it gets so many good physical moves too. It gets like Blaze Kick. I, it gets Ally Switch. It gets all the good physical attacks. It gets all the good special attacks. Genesect is super, super fun to use, cool to use. And in any format, this Pokemon's everyone legal in singles. It gets Bandit Ubers almost immediately. If that doesn't show in a 1v1 situation that this Pokemon is absolutely amazing, I don't know what what else would. Um, I think Genesect can hang with a lot of these guys. And the fact that you can stick those Flutterflies um, who are those special attacks and those special attackers and allow your teammates to succeed is what kind of sets Genesect apart in a lot of those situations. So think about using Genesect if you haven't before. You'd be surprised how hard it hits if you get a download proc into special attack. So give it a shot. Let me know how it works. And let's move on to the best bug type for the Series 13 form. What do you guys think it is? There's a lot of good bug types left. There's uh, things like Scizor. There's things like, uh, what is this guy? There's a Ore Beetle, there's Crustle, there's Buzzswole, but it's obviously Shedinja, obviously. Uh, Shedinja gets the ability Wonder Guard, which those guys don't know what that does. Wonder Guard says this Pokemon can only take damage 
from super effective attacks. And basically, that's just going to make Shedinja like almost impossible to KO against a lot of the restricteds. Um, being a bug ghost type means you're weak against like flying, rock, fire, ghost. There's probably like six other types, right? It's, it has a lot of weaknesses. But let's think about the meta. Zacian can't hit it. Kyogre can't hit it. Calyrex Ice can't hit it. Yes, things like Calyrex Shadow and um, Yveltal can hit it, but like, there's a lot of mons. The further we go down the list, the popular mons cannot hit Shininja. It will take damage from things like Wildfire, Vine Lash, Hail, Sandstorm, stuff like that, but it's up to you as a Shininja player to maximize the amount of situations where you can actually use your Shininja. You can switch it into Absorb Max turns, you can switch it into Alleviate Pressure, you get Will O Wisp, Ally Switch. A um, bunch of really cool stuff. You get Shadow Sneak as well. I think Shedinja is going to be a mainstay. It's, it's so good. This is probably the best non-restricted slash like legendary Pokemon in any format in the Ubers format. Like, as far as the Ubers format is concerned, it's one of the best non-legendary Pokemon that's ever able to be played in the Ubers formats. And I, I don't see it going away anytime soon here. Really, really good matchup against so many things. It forces your opponent to bring the exact mons that can actually hit it. So if you go into a team preview and they only have three mons that can hit it, you know that they're going to bring those three mons to the game. You don't even have to bring your Shedinja at that point. You can just bring the three mons that punish the three mons that you know have moves to hit Shedinja. So think about using Shedinja in your own games. Think about using the rest of these types. I think bug types are generally overlooked. And like I said, they're my favorite types. So whenever you use bug types, think of me. Think about leaving a like. Think about leaving a comment. Let me know the type you want me to work on next. Um, we've done a lot of the types so far, and I plan on getting... Uh, done with all of them by the time Series 13 actually launches. So let me know what type you want to see. The type with the most comments in the comment section. I'll make a video for them. We'll upload that next. And uh, hopefully you guys like this series so far. If you guys like the series as well, include that in your comment. Let me know as well as your own top five. What do you guys think the top five best bug types are? Did I leave anyone out? Uh, let me know if I did and why. And other than that, peace out. And I'll see you guys next time.